What's going on guys? It's your boy CV Tech One coming at you live and direct once again with another video. And yes, I'm not a hat person, but I am rocking a hat. This is a CA hat. It's also called Confident Apparel. It's my uh, clothing line. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. I thought I'd share a little something about me with you guys. Yeah, CA stands for Confident Apparel. Be proud to wear you. So your confidence is within. Our clothing line is your confidence on the outside. I believe if you look good, you feel good. And if you feel good, you're unstoppable. But anyways, man, let's get right into it, man. Another Larry Bird video. Uh, I got two more Larry Bird videos and we're gonna move on to another top five basketball player of all time. Uh, just because I've learned enough about Bird and also from the Bird fans in the comment section that we could move on so that way I can have a list going because I wanna do give my top 10 uh, player of all time. And there's a couple other players we should talk about. So we're gonna get into this video, Larry Bird trash talk. It's kind of funny because from what I've seen, especially when they compared uh, Larry Bird to Magic Johnson, how Magic Johnson was outgoing, flamboyant. Magic Johnson was the, you know, the party guy and Bird was the opposite. So I, I don't see Larry Bird as a trash talker, or let's watch this video and see how uh, how Bird was on the court. So we playing him in the last, the last play. He says uh, to James Worthy, he said, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm gonna go right over there at that corner. <laughs> He said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ? the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out. The man curled right Is that to the, the play? corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three, and game made over. It. It's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> Shake, that is trash talk. Working and playing against the Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. Mm -hmm. Go shake. And Larry put both hands behind his back. He wouldn't shake my hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. I heard of this he story. Game. <laughs> First play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in this league, Holmes. And he shoots a three. Now, I wasn't mad that he made the three. But I said, this, something, this, this called me Holmes. <laughs> and, and, he, and he came down and did it again. So I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down, see me on the break net pitch, and I jump up and I throw it down on him, right? I mean, he fouls Ooh. me. And he said, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. He said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. Wow. <laughs> hey, man, listen, Dominique Wilkins was no scrub. That man can play. I think his nephew was also in the league for a couple of years. Bird was going at him as a rookie. And then he went back at Bird and Bird's like, I respect that. That's actually cool because it's almost like, uh, you know, what, what a lot of players do when they see a rookie, like in football, what they call a hazing. You know, they make the rookie pay the tab, that kind of thing. It's a test. And I guarantee these two guys have the, the ultimate respect, uh, respect for each other. So, I mean, that's who he was. But that was the only time he ever talked trash to me because he respected me because he knew that I was going to keep coming. That really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, wow. I always tell this, people, this story about Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? He says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> that's disrespectful. That is, that's Wait, funny, man. I, I, I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comment. That is just, funny. He says, it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. You don't expect that from Larry Bird to make a, a joke like that because he was just quiet. He just wanted to play. You know what I mean? But that was funny, man. Larry Bird told Robert Reedy the other state that he should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> that was funny. He had 50. We draw 50. You know, Larry Bird ain't never playing no great defense. He's like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy. Yeah, that's Harper. Shoot, I'm not worried about guard. I said, man, shoot it in the face. Shoot it. Mark hit a three-pointer on Larry, on Larry Bird and, uh, and, said, and said, said, take a look at that. And Bird just came right back and hit three three three-pointers in a row. And just basically, basically said to him, and we all heard it that you're out of your league. Danny, give me the ball, or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it? That's crazy. <laughs> Larry and Isaiah was all out of out of whack. He had the ball at three point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around. He just stood there, held the ball, and Isaiah said, ah, oh, he ran out there and just shot it three pointer. 
Too late. Was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. Wow. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just getting up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast, he's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked the man said, who is this guy talking all that trash? He ain't even fast. He's slow. People got on me about that. I'm just getting this off my chest, all right? You, you guys came at me for the most simplest things, man. I'm just saying, man. Larry Bird is a legend. What do you want me to tell you? Huh? Not I mean, trouble, he man. goes, you can't stop me. And I look at him. I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. The coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him. He tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, he, and I go right by him. And he shoots the ball. It's nothing but nylon. What? Larry Bird tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, he, and I go right by him. And he shoots the ball. It's nothing wow. but nylon. Wow. He told him to Larry fly, Bird. Larry the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry That's Bird changed funny. that. Larry Bird. That's there was a certain confidence you had. ML Carr. You know, if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way. And he delivered. Double team and Bird. Larry. All day. Fall away. Do you remember? Well, you had the Bird night. I had the Bird night. Doc. Doc's got to remember. <laughs> that was a tough the whole night, bench. Man. It was going My crazy. His argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. <laughs> yeah. But did you, nobody was guarding that's, Bird, were they? Well, we were crazy. trying. You were trying no, to. No, but when, when a guy is literally coming up to court calling his shots, uh, and, you know, Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans. And that game, we're on the free throw line, and he's like, he literally says, um, left side <laughs> over the, across the three. And that's you're sick. listening to him. That's that's a tough filler. But okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Lee. Nobody has got sixty plus by Fratello, I think. For and, and Eddie Johnson for celebrating sixty plus points. Celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it's it was so a, good. it was the greatest film session ever because that back then you didn't have you know you watched the real game and just went you know with a video and Mike rewound the celebration twenty times. Uh -huh. He wow. just kept, re not the shot, he just kept rewinding it, showing the guys, you remember, they were giving each other high five. And then, and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, that was Eddie Johnson. Yeah, that was Eddie Johnson. He said they didn't even rewind the shot. They rewound just the bench. Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter, uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives each other high five, and our film session was 20 <laughs> minutes of that. <laughs> So it, it was. It wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense no, on Bird. It was you it was, guys celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, it was. Uh, I think Bird oh. went by the bench one time too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, "Off the glass into the trainer." And, uh, yeah, and that's crazy because he did fall into the trainer's lap like that's nuts for him to say that like if that if that's what he really said that is crazy because i've watched that clip he falls into the trainer's lap really said oh, no. uh, off the glass into the trainer and, uh, <laughs> no yeah and so um it was a bad night and when larry got on the roll started shooting the ball he said, every shot was going in goodbye she's gone i guess the two point was too close when he ran by the bench he goes that's a heat check to see how hot I am. <laughs> right, it runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, Hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me? He goes, well, Nobody out here can. Frank looked down the bench and goes, Wow. No. <laughs> wow. Uh, he'll look at you like, Hey, what you doing out here? You better call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, Hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to guard me because I'm killing this guy. In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding like a Chuck? few choice Chuck comments of his own. Chuck so. Person, he definitely yeah, yeah. had his reputation. I remember Chuck Person. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. I remember Charles Smith. Oh, they were batting like that. Chuck Person will, I mean, he, he will come at you too. Chuck and Larry down low, greeting one another once again. Oh, this is when they made it in the playoffs. And I think it's when Bird fell and and his face hit the. Yeah, 
that is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we've always had run-ins, but uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> Bird's ability to get the final word has made for many a magic moment. And this week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. X-Men. I, I used to read about the X Men. I had it was a book I read on NBA. Right. He said, "You know I'm gonna get it." And I said, "I know I'm gonna be waiting." And then the time out, I'm going for a play, and I said, "This is what we're gonna run." All right. Uh, then she got the ball. You go over here and uh, you, you know, pass to Kevin. Then you go to the corner. And Robert, you come over. Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, "Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way?" Jesus. You know, after the time out, we, we walked back on the court. Now he's going down to his position. So he tells the baby, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Ten seconds. Oh, yeah. I, I, I saw this highlight a couple times. The video is not the greatest, you know, but. Like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I walked back to the sideline like, damn. He said I left two. I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock, man. Larry was complaining to the refs, and I was complaining to the refs. And the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to six. That's how I summarize it. The 84 Damn. Olympic team is playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros, including Larry Bird, and they were in the warmups. And a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. Is this the commercial? And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head. As what? If to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he it, can get right now. got a pull hamstring. Wait, why does that sound like that McDonald's commercial when they're in the gym, the ball kind of rolled up to Bird? I know I'm not tripping, man. There was a commercial back in the day like that, him and Jordan, and they were calling shots or playing horse or something. But that's how that commercial started. Correct me if I'm wrong, man. I, but I hope I'm not having one of those uh, Nelson Mandela effect is what they call it, right? the next few years and he wants to get every edge he can i mean the mandela effect for those that don't know get right now i got a pull hamstring so i'm not playing tonight he walks down to me and i'm sorry you're not playing but i he said i'm gonna tell you what since you're here i'm gonna put a show on for you so you just sit back bro and watch, okay and i'm like man get out of my face man <laughs> want to hear that you know that's Celtics and the lakers Every time he hit one, he'd look at me. I remember we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit That's what could have been a shot. KC called timeout. It won't count. It does not count. Washington had called a timeout. Yeah, we, we, we've seen back this bench, one couple yeah, times. Upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, Hey, guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot. And I'm going to kick it in. He told Washington, I'm going to get the ball. Yeah. Two seconds left. The ball looks by a one. Aims to Bird. He gets a good shot in the zone. I think it was like three. Oh, in a span like 40 seconds, I think there was like three shots I was taking. All right, we'll leave it there, man. Look, if there's another video you guys want me to watch, put in the comment section below. We need to watch the other guys, the other greats. I'll say this. I don't think Larry Bird is like a big trash talker like people are making it seem i don't think he was really trash talking i think that was just his confidence ca confident apparel i think he was just so confident and he was just saying hey this is what i'm gonna do because when i think of trash talk i think of trash talking as in like you know yo you suck or this and that or uh me going at you verbally uh throughout the game but he's just saying, hey, this is what I'm going to do. I don't consider that trash talking, really. I just think that's a very confident uh, person, a good play, uh, confident player, a great player. And, you know, that's how I took that. I don't see it as really like trash, trash talking. That is Larry Legend, man. 
I can't wait to uh, to do my top 10 best player of all time in the NBA history. You know, we watched a couple of Larry Bird videos. I've learned a lot. Shout outs to the Bird fan, NBA fans who's been watching the videos, commenting on the videos, giving suggestions. Uh, I got one more Larry Bird video, and then we should move on to another player. Which player do you think we should watch? We got Hakeem on the screen right now. That's one player that don't get a lot of love and a lot of attention. And is Hakeem on my uh, top 10 list? Maybe. Till next time. Peace.